Well, hello there. Uh, the question in the elastic material is, what's the difference between heat energy and chemical energy? And I've got our old friend glucose again, C6H12O6. And uh, how can we use uh, uh, Mr. Glucose to illustrate the uh, difference between heat energy and chemical energy? Let's start with chemical energy. Uh, what about this glucose molecule represents chemical energy? What is it? Oh yeah, the bonds, right? The sticks. What does each stick represent? A chemical bond. And what does each chemical bond represent? Stored energy. And let's see, what's the term for the energy stored in the bonds of complex molecules? Chemical energy. And so in a real glucose molecule, each one of these bonds would represent stored energy or chemical energy. How does that energy ever get out of a complex molecule? Somehow the bonds are what? Broken, right? They are broken. Yeah, so chemical energy represented by the bonds uh, of this glucose molecule. Now how can I use this very same molecule to represent heat energy? Hmm, heat energy, what do we say molecules are doing? Uh, when they have heat energy, they're what? They're moving. The more heat energy, the more motion, right? So I can jiggle this guy. And so the uh, and this represents the molecule of glucose. The hotter, if you had some actual glucose, the hotter it is, what? The faster the molecules move. The colder the glucose, the slower the molecules move. But actually, the glucose molecules wouldn't stop moving unless the glucose was at what temperature? Absolute zero, right? Absolute zero. Let's think about absolute zero for a second. You've got a couple other questions on your study guide. It says, uh, at absolute zero, does glucose have heat energy? At absolute zero, does glucose have heat ener energy? Well, at absolute zero, the molecules would be what? Stopped. And would there be any heat energy? No. No. No molecular motion. No heat energy. In order to have heat energy, you've got to have molecules moving. Absolute zero. No molecular motion. No heat energy. Uh, but what about, uh, what about chemical energy? That's another question. At absolute zero, does glucose have chemical energy? Yes or no? And the answer, of course, is yes. At absolute zero, sure, glucose would still have its bonds. It would still have energy stored in the bonds of complex molecules, of this complex molecule in particular. Sure, absolute zero, no heat energy, but there's still chemical energy. All right, and that is the difference between heat energy, jiggle, 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 and chemical energy energy stored in the bonds of complex molecules. Okay, that's it for this one.